has ISIS has developed like wildfire under our incompetent President Obama. And I actually said to the press, and I said to a big group of people, it's the opinion of myself and a lot of people that he was the founder of ISIS. Donald Trump over the weekend at a rally in Fairfield, Connecticut, doubling down, uh, associating President Obama and Hillary Clinton with ISIS. Now, Donald Trump continued that theme today in Youngstown, Ohio, but with a bit more specificity, not so much about the current commander in chief, nor the Democrat who hopes to succeed him, but what he, Donald Trump, would do to fix our national security mess. So. When we say, let Trump be Trump, will he stick to his message? And will that be the key to uh, seeing him ensconced at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue? For more on all this, we're pleased to be uh, joined via Skype by the YouTube sensations of the viewer's view, Diamond and Silk, big time Donald Trump supporters. Ladies, it's always good to have you here on Newsmax Prime. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. You bet. Now, uh, Mr. Trump, when he goes out today, he had a speech with a teleprompter, a specific policy message. When he gets out at these rallies, sometimes he, uh, he waxes philosophical. For example, he even joked in Connecticut over the weekend about losing the election. Let's look and listen. Can you imagine how badly I'll feel if I spent all of that money all of this energy, all of this time, and lost. I will never, ever forgive the people of Connecticut. I will never forgive the people of Florida and Pennsylvania and Ohio. But I love them anyway. We'll see. I think we're going to do very well. Uh, ladies, your reaction to the kind of spontaneity and off-the-cuff Donald Trump we see in these rallies. Do, do you think that hurts him in some ways? Absolutely not. He has a sense of humor. He likes to make right. people laugh. There is nothing wrong with it. Come on. He yeah. is a human being first. And I love his candor. Love I love the it. fact that he's comfortable in his own skin and he say things off the cuff. I love it. Yes, unlike the current administration that 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 just they fit, they seem and look like a stealth. Oh, they are raised um, scared to be politically incorrect. Yes, Donald Trump is real. He's a real person, and we love his mm -hmm. humor. And uh, we appreciate your spontaneous comments too, ladies. Tell you what, we'll get some more people in on this conversation at 1-877-NEWSMAX. As a matter of fact, let's head out to the area I was honored to represent in the Congress of the United States at one point, to Chandler, Arizona, for Kathy. Kathy, welcome to Newsmax Prime. Well, hi, J.D. Hi, First Kathy. First-time caller. Good to have um, you. Thank you. Uh, I, I just wanted to talk about the border. Um, you know, the instability of our border. Um, I have a neighbor whose husband works as a border patrol agent, and those guys are doing a terrific job with little, little they have, you know, and um, there are a lot of people who live on the border. I don't know if, if America is familiar with what's going on here. Well, you know, it's something that we've tried to make. I wrote that book 10 years ago, uh, made it the centerpiece of uh, a lot of my time in the House, but, you know, I think the good thing, Kathy, is that Donald Trump attracts so much attention that people are finding out about it. And certainly you right there in Arizona know all about it. And we thank you for calling in. We hope you'll make it a habit and call us again real soon. Let me go back to Diamond and Silk on this. Ladies, do you believe the border issue really separated Donald Trump from the uh, the establishment candidates and the professional politicians. And you heard what Kathy had to say living out there in Arizona. Is that the key to, you talked about him being a real person. Is that the issue that really will get things done for him in this campaign? 
absolutely. That's the one of the problem. issues. Yes. You know, people living around that border or on the edge of that border, you know, they can see how illegal immigrants are just coming across the border with backpacks and boxes and bags. You don't know what's in those bags. And then drugs is pouring over our border. They want a secure border. They don't want people just walking across and, and, and they're illegal in this country. That's right. So they want a secure border. Build the wall and Mexico is going to pay for it. That's we right. love it. We love it. And as I often said during my times in office and my time here in front of the cameras, border security is national security. And in dealing with that broader topic of national security, earlier today in Youngstown, Ohio, Mr. Trump outlined what he plans to do to dismantle and destroy ISIS. This is the way he outlined it for the crowd. My administration will aggressively pursue joint and coalition military operations to crush and destroy ISIS, international cooperation to cut off their funding, expanded intelligence sharing, and cyber warfare to disrupt and disable their propaganda and recruiting. Their recruiting is taking place right now, and they're setting records. Ladies, not only did he offer an outline there, but his tone much more measured. You know, a lot of people are saying, quote, we want him to look, quote, presidential, uh, both in terms of the presentation and the content. Do you believe he offered us a good outline for destroying ISIS? Absolutely. Yes. He is going to destroy ISIS. And guess what? He always looked presidential. Yes. Every time he speaks, he looks presidential, never wavering, nor backing down. He is going to crush ISIS, and he laid out his plan in detail, That's and right. we love it. And we love it. Well, you said earlier he's comfortable in his own skin, and he certainly uh, attracts a whole lot of attention. And some calls at one eight seven seven newsmax Let's go down to a place where Ike loved to play golf, Augusta, Georgia. That's where Joseph is on the line. Joseph, welcome to Newsmax Prime. How you doing, J.D.? Doing great, Joseph. What's on your mind? Uh, I just wanted to uh, see, get your opinion about today. He seemed different to me than he has in the last six months. Not that I disagree with anything that he says because I'm a big Donald Trump supporter. Um, but today he seemed like he'd come out with a different persona. Like he was really, really talking to the people and really serious about what he was going to do. And I just want to see how you felt about that. Well, Did you he, feel here, like here is the thing, Joseph. You know, th there has to be, you have to strike a balance. Yeah, you have to be yourself, but you also, uh, you know, when you're interviewing for a job, and in essence, that's what Mr. Trump is doing, you've got to be able to appeal to a majority of people. And there are some people who really want to hear definitive policies, who really, while they might appreciate his exuberance on the stump, they say, now, wait a minute, I really want to hear what you're going to do. And to that extent today, Joseph, I believe Mr. Trump hit a home run. He was decisive. He was careful with what he had to say. And I don't mean to imply a criticism in any other way. But when you're running for this job and you're dealing quite literally with deadly serious issues, you have to be serious about it. And certainly he was. We thank you for the call tonight from Augusta. And uh, ladies, uh, in the minute, a couple of minutes we have left, I need to get your take on the latest police-involved shooting that has claimed the national spotlight. This time, it came in Milwaukee as an African-American police officer shot and killed a 23-year-old suspect who had a weapon. The suspect happened to be black, and yet the Black Lives Matter folks and all the people took to rioting. Let, let's take a look at what the mayor of Milwaukee, a former member of Congress who I know, Tom Barrett, here's what he had to say today. We know there are issues. There's too much poverty, there are housing issues, there are public safety issues, there are education issues. None of those issues get addressed if your intent is to inflict property or personal damage in this great neighborhood. And the fact that you've got some angry people who want to cause problems is something that we will not tolerate. Ladies, you hear that, you take a look at the rate of unemployment for black teenagers. Is this something that Donald Trump can fix? Heck, he's going to be in Milwaukee tomorrow. Absolutely he 
yes. can fix this. Uh -huh. See, these people keep voting for the same system that keeps handing them crumbs. That's right. They want to vote for Hillary, rob them, Clinton is what uh -huh. they who they want to vote for, and that's why they're still living in poverty in impoverished areas that's and right. underemployed and unemployed. Remember, she um, supported that um, NAFTA trade deal. Mm -hmm. Remember, she supported that crime bill. She called black men super predators. Mm -hmm. So why would you continue to vote for a same system that keeps you in poverty? That's right. This is why they need to wake up and vote for Donald J. Trump because he wants to bring back opportunities where you're not living in poverty, where you're coming up, where you're thriving, where you're able to feed your family, yes. where you're able to come up. This is what, what we want. This is what black Americans need to do. Vote right before you get left and vote for Donald J. Trump. That's right. And uh, ladies, with the few seconds we have left, this comes from our file entitled, Now It Can Be Told. When uh, I was down in Fort Lauderdale at the Trump rally waiting to interview Mr. Trump, look who I ran into. Diamond and Silk, it was great to see you face to face, ladies, a real good time. And we want to thank you so much for your time here on the program and a chance to visit face to face last week. It was exciting. Y'all are going to get on the road again soon, I know, and we look forward to having you back here real soon on Newsmax Prime, okay? Take good care. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Diamond and Silk, you see them on YouTube and here on Newsmax TV. Up next with our newest member of the family.